All right, we're here in round two. Uh, we have enough mana, and we have a divination, so I am going to keep it. Otherwise, it's a pretty bad hand, but whatever. Archaeomancer for the divination. Yeah, it's a pretty good card draw. Alright, stuffy doll. Alright, looks like he missed his turn 3 play, which is good for us. So, let me think about this actually. If I play a divination, I am going to have to discard. But, I don't really have much else going on that I can see. And I am going to need to put pressure on him. I can probably discard an island and be fine. Or a Kindled Fury, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm still going to Divination. Ooh. Alright. Well, now the Stuffy Doll is looking... Or, the Kindled Fury is looking like the thing I want to discard. Although, Kindled Fury with the Archaeomancer, Tricks of the Trade might actually be necessary. I'm not sure, actually. This is kind of tough. Maybe I do discard a land. Um, yeah, let's just discard a mountain. Alright, if he misses land drop again, that's good. So I'll probably just drop the Sands of Delirium. And then mill him for one. Possibly hitting a land. Planar Cleansing. I wonder if he got both of them. That was a good draw. Alright, so I'm definitely going to hit during his upkeep. Let's see if we can hit a land. Nope. So... See if he hit a land anyway. Yep, so we actually helped him by uh, hitting the duress. But the man still does not have a play, which means we're just going to start milling. Yeah, could play Stuffy Doll here, but I'd rather just mill him five. Go on that route. Ooh, he had an elixir too, main deck. So I guess that's good that we milled that. Oblivion Ring, yep. Yeah. Alright, well, there goes the Kaibash on our, uh, on our mill him plan. That is not going to work anymore. So it looks like the play now is probably the Stuffy Doll, just to get it out there. We could also do Water Courser, just going to do more damage. Yeah, let's do the Water Courser. Well, but then next turn I could do Water Courser plus Flames of the Firebrand if necessary. Alright, let's do the Stuffy Doll, I talked myself into it. This slows us down, but I have a feeling he's going to be playing spells now, so... We're going to need this stuff at all, probably. So he's got multiple outs against our Sands of Delirium plan. Leaning on a shade, yeah. So now we can... Actually, I guess I don't really care about the shade because of the stuff at all. So maybe I don't need to use flames just yet. Although 
Well, let's just use it. With that much value, I guess there's really no reason not to. That's enough value for me. He did not play his swamp. Maybe he already played one and I missed it. Um, Alright, so we're going to flames. And drop our water courser. And pass the turn. Murdering that right away, okay. Uh, okay, he doesn't know that Stuffy Doll is indestructible. That was a good draw. Especially since he just wasted both his murders. Alright, he just seated. Felt like a fool, and then he seated. Okay, so black, white. The gate looks like it's going to be pretty good, right? <clears throat> Counterspell that, uh, those murders. So, possibly cut a kindled fury. What did we see for creatures? I don't even remember. Nothing too serious. We saw the Liliana Shade, and we saw a War Clamp Mastiff. So yeah, I guess Kindled Fury's not looking as good. Based on that small amount of information. I also didn't scout his deck, but uh, whatever. Alright, uh, I guess we try... Maybe I don't need the Kraken Hatchling. I could bring in something else. What though? Rewind, maybe? I don't really like Rewind all that much. Alright, I guess we just try this. And pretty obvious mole here. And this hand's pretty bad, but I'm going to keep it. So he's got some blue in there too. Oh, he's got more blue than I originally thought. Alright. So ideally he plays like a servant of Neferox next turn and we get some good value. Walking Corpse works too. Next turn we get the Furnace Whelp, which is pretty good when you have all mountains. It's actually a pretty good clock. Maybe even equip it with the Ring of Evo style if I thought it could get there. Not the worst idea ever. Yeah, I like the Furnace Whelp follow up to the Giant Scorpion. Mind Claw Shaman as well. That'll be good. If we can steal a murder next turn or something. So 
She's got that murder mana now. And we do not have the negate mana. Alright. So much for that murder plan, stealing it with Mindclaw Shaman. I think he needed the but yeah, he needed the black source that turn to be able to do that. Sands of Delirium. Yeah, I mean, not do anything else, why not? And then he, like an idiot, attacks with the wrong creature. Yeah. Alright, so he saved his point of damage. And we can't get a mana source of any kind to save our life. So I'm getting beat down by a guy who doesn't know how to play his cards. And we can't do anything. Just got four lands out of the way for him, so he's probably all spells now. I'm trying to debate if I want to play the Stuffy Dollar Mind Claw Shaman first, if I even get to a fifth land. Still have to do that. It's like the whole point of this guy is that he has haste. <laughs> Land, please. Thank you. All right, so stuffy doll or mind claw shaman? I think uh, I guess we start with the stuffy doll. Okay, I think that was me losing my previous draft. In 8-4. I lost round one. I'm not going to post it. Might not even post this draft. Christ, if I lose to this guy, this draft is not getting posted. This guy's far too bad to uh, to lose against for me to to post this draft. And he had the Oblivion Ring. Why the hell wouldn't he? Yep, so we're going to lose to a bad player. Does appear is what's happening. So I guess we hope he has a murder. Otherwise, this Mind Claw Shaman's a 5 mana 2 2. Guess Switcheroo does uh, nothing? I don't know. Does actually nothing. Because it's going to just give me a tapped creature and then I'll die, so no. Nope. So he has a Switcheroo that I can't do anything about, and uh, I'm losing to a bad deck.
It's having a real hard time making the decision there. All right. Man, Duress would have been good. Then I could have taken a switcheroo. Yep. Take three. Divination, is it going to do anything for me? Is it doing a single thing for me? Am I still dead next turn? If I play Void Stalker, uh, I guess I play Void Stalker. Pretty sure I'm still dead. I, I don't really know why I'm continuing this. So we just block there. Could have milled him twice there. Guess I just thought it didn't matter. All right, it's divination here. doesn't do anything for me. Nope. Alright, I guess we pass the turn. And yeah, we're gonna die. Okay. All right. So, game three against a bad player with a bad deck. What do I have? Guess he is playing blue, but I'm assuming it's a splash for that switcheroo. Uh, yeah. I guess we just leave it how it is. I don't really know. I can't think of anything I want to bring in. Maybe crater eyes and keep him off his blue mana. I don't really care enough to do that. No, I think we just leave it how it is and see if we can beat a bad player. Alright, we'll play first. Yeah, we can keep this. If we don't draw land, we lose, but hopefully we draw land. Alright, that was a good draw. We're going to drop the water courser first. Divinations in case we miss our land draw on the following turn. This is land drop again. OK. 
okay, he just wanted to make sure that he did it all post combat. Smart thinking. All right, uh, drop our furnace well here. Since it's actually a win con. Hopefully he attacks here. Guess he's got three mana for the Oblivion Ring. Um, can't quite use the Ring of Evo Sile yet for what I want to do with it. So I think we just get in with the Furnace Whelp for one and then drop our Scroll Thief. Although, I kind of want to protect it. Yeah, well, it's going to be tough to play Scroll Thief later, though, and keep up the mana. I'd need another mana before I could protect the Furnace Whelp. Plus, it's kind of weird having the Furnace Whelp equipped to the Ring of Evo Sile. But I suppose if we were going to win, it would be on the back of a Furnace Whelp, because he probably doesn't have flyers. All right, I guess we try it. He's got the answer to it. He's got the answer to it. He's got the mana for the switcheroo now, too. I feel like I'm going to feel pretty good if we can untap. All right, well, we got to untap. That's pretty awesome. And we got our mana. So now we can do Scroll Thief. Leave this guy hexproof. Okay, Aiden Squire doesn't matter. Like that he's not attacking us. Because he's got the regen mana now. Alright, that was a good draw. Okay, I think we just. Well, hmm. I'm going to Divination pre combat. Two more lands. Alright. So let's see if he's got the Show of Valor. Okay, he's attacking with his flyer, curiously. Arsonist, that's yeah, pretty good, I guess. Doesn't really do too much here, but. Um. Alright, I guess we get in for six.
So potentially win next game if he doesn't have Mark of the Vampire, if he doesn't have any way to buff his Avon Squire, if he doesn't have any way to gain life. Uh, Dark Favor, he's got a blocker now. Okay, I guess that's a pretty big deal. Okay. Stuffy doll doesn't really do all that much. He's definitely blocking with the Avon Squire, so we got a divination here and see if we can draw into a Flames of the Firebrand. is actually lethal, but we cannot. So the plan is Void Stalker. And Arsonist. And I suppose I attack with the Water Courser, but then I can't protect him with Hexproof. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to ride it out on this Furnace Whelp, so... Furnace Whelp's gonna be lethal next turn. He's gotta deal with the Void Stalker. Okay, taking three. No plays, curiously. Alright, so we Void Stalker the Squire. Okay, so he's got Fairy Invaders. Could have that. Alright, 